Hi everyone, Lisa here for Whimsy Stamps. So today is release day. All right, so I'm here to share the new Barnyard Square Clear Stamp Set with you and I have three quick and simple cards I'm gonna create with you during this video. I know I sounded way too excited for that, right? So here's a quick look at this adorable stamp set. It's so cute, fun, punny sentiments with it. And we're just gonna dive right into this. I'm gonna get started by stamping the images using Tuxedo Black ink onto 80 pound smooth cardstock. I'm gonna be doing some coloring with my Copic markers. After I stamp the images, I'm going to go ahead and cut those out. Now you can fussy cut these or you can use a square die. If you have one, that is completely up to you. I went ahead and I fussy cut these out and then I temporarily attached them to a piece of inexpensive cardstock because they are smaller and it just makes it easier to color them. Plus I like having that extra room for swatching colors or cleaning off marker nibs. So I'm gonna start the coloring with this. This is real simple. The images are one and three quarters of an inch square. So coloring is pretty quick. Today I'm keeping this easy, starting out with N6, N4, N2, and N0 to the spots on all the cows. And then I'm gonna add W0 and W1 to the white areas, just add a little shading. Then I'm gonna come in with R11 and add a little color to their nostrils. For this straw on this image, I'm going to use E30, E33, E35, E37, and Y32. And I'm just flicking each color to create a piece of straw. I'm overlapping each flick and I'm just, you know, turning and twisting the paper as I do this. I'm trying to create a scattered straw look with this. I'm going to come back in a little later with B01 and color in around their heads to create like a sky area. Moving on to this next image. Now I didn't color this one with N6. I just used N4, N2, and N0. And then a little bit of the W0 and W1 to the white areas. So G20 and G24 to color those little black, uh, gray I can spit this out, blades of grass. And then I'm gonna flick a little Y11 to the flowers and then finish off with the B01 to create a sky. Last image, Y02, Y04, Y08 to the chick with YR68 to the beak and R29 and R59 to the comb or top of his head. Also, R29 and R59 to the flowers with G24 to the center of each one for the pony. E31, E33, E35, E37, R11 to the ear, W00 to his muzzle. Now for the main, E31, E33, flicking those colors, I'm going to come in with E51 and flick that also. Then I come in with E35 and E37 just to darken it up a little bit, and I'm just flicking strands of hair for this. Again, B01 to create the sky around those cuties. So for the backgrounds, I actually used two red rubber stamps for these backgrounds. I have a shiplap stamp and a chicken wire stamp. So for this panel, I didn't want the whole panel to be stamped. I wanted there to be some voided areas in the stamped image. So what I did was I just held the sides of the panel up, rocked the center of the paper back and forth on the stamp, then I'm going to come in now and go ahead and finish off the sides and you'll see how it creates these voids in there. It's not, it's not going to be a solid stamped image. And I wanted that because it's a barn and I'm thinking old barn. So anyways, it's, it's just something I decided to do. Okay, so I went ahead and I stamped one solid panel with the chicken wire and one solid panel with the shiplap to use on a second card. I used Catherine Puller's Twilight Ink for all of that stamping. For this card here, I decided to do something a little bit different. So I got the farmhouse greenery stencil out, added some dye ink and green and yellow to a piece of card stock, and I decided that it was not working for me. So I took it to the Big Kick and ran it through the Big Kick with one of the grass edger dies from Whimsy. And then I decided if I'm going to do that, it's going to need some clouds. It's got to have a sky. And the whole thought process behind this is that's supposed to be a field. 
and you'll see why here in a minute. So I went ahead and did a makeshift stencil like you've probably seen me do in the past and stenciled some clouds onto a card panel. I'm going to go ahead and start assembling these cards. I just cut a piece of gray cardstock um, with my paper trimmer to one and or one eighth of an inch wide. I'm going to add some liquid adhesive to go ahead and place that to the back of the chicken wire that was cut at an angle. And then I'm going to use my tape runner and go ahead and add some tape and adhere this to the center of my gray card base. So here's the piece that I ran through the big kick with the grass edger die. And I just added some mounting foam so I could adhere it to the panel with the stenciled clouds. And then we're gonna center that up with some tape from the tape runner on our gray card base. Same thing with our last card here, tape runner, center it up on a card base. Pretty simple. For each of the stamped images, I'm using mounting foam to add those to the center of each card. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp the sentiments onto the same gray card stock using VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And I ran those through the paper trimmer, trimmed them down, adding mounting foam to the back of them, and I'm snipping one edge with my pinking shears. I like the look that it gives. We're going to finish those off with a few enamel dots and I do believe that's going to bring us to the end of this video. So I really appreciate you joining me today. I hope you'll click that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of new content to the channel. Now Whimsy has something coming to the channel real soon. You're not going to want to miss out on this. So be sure you click that bell. Please feel free to share the videos from the Whimsy channel with your crafty friends anytime. And for more information on the products used, just head over to the Whimsy Stamps website. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day.